Good morning. Um, this is the studio visit founded by Isabel Manella. And we have refocused the mission of the studio visit to um, look at artists that are black and brown of color and to look at their studio practice, take you into their studios and, and let them explain their practice to you. Today, I have someone very special, um, Juan Picasso, who I met in Cuba about six years ago um, while I was there for two weeks. He is a fantastic artist and he has an exciting new process that he's gonna tell us about. Thank you for your words. He has exhibited internationally and nationally and he is going to also tell you about his special connection to Pablo Picasso. Welcome Juan, how are you doing this morning? I'm fine, thank you Cherry. How are you? I'm doing well. The first question I Glad have to hear it. first question I have for you and I'm going to type it into the is what is your tell us about when and how you became an artist. Could you repeat, please? Tell Sorry? us when and how you became uh -huh. an artist. I'm going to put the question in the chat as well so you can see it. Well, uh, I began with, to paint uh, from children, but that was only a hobby. Uh, I was dedicated to the sport, practicing the sport for a year. And then, uh, uh, years, years ago, uh, 2000, I knew a professor of uh, San Alejandro. Uh, San Alejandro is Academy of Pain uh, in Havana. Okay. And this professor has uh, a previous study. Uh, I began in it uh, and was in there for four years under the, uh, the teacher of this profession. Uh, okay. In this uh, study, uh, they uh, was teach for me and another student, pain, uh, painting, drawing, uh, art history. And I said I was here for four years. For four years? Yes. Okay. So the, private school. the next question I have is, um, tell us about your studio practice. My studio practice was with, with this uh, professor. Uh, basically, uh, was painting, drawing uh, during four years with him. With him. Uh, was private uh, study. So, um, Tell us, Juan, about what is your focus in your painting in terms of your subjects? Well, uh, the first time was about uh, religion. Okay. Uh, religion uh, was uh, the first topic in my words during one, maybe two years. And then uh, I saw the necessity that the, there is a voice that uh, may trade the social critic uh, about immigration, about the, 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 the people, about the politics. But uh, this boy need to uh, be reflected uh, from Afro-Cuban, no uh, talking specifically uh, about religion. Uh, okay. I, I need the origin, the, the origin, to try uh, another problematic in my war art. Okay. Well, I know we were talking a little bit a few days ago about this process that you have tell mm -hmm. where are you? you you're not in cuba so where are you now and why are you there why are you there about where are you where are you are you're ah, not where where well, uh, uh, in this moment i'm here in brazil i have uh, here for one year and a half uh, working uh, 
uh, creating, and uh, hope, hoping to return to Cuba uh, after this pandemic go on. So, how long have you been there? A year and a half, right? How? You've been in Brazil a year and a half? Yes, I'm here uh, for a year and a half. I am resident here too. Sure. I, I come here to, for, a short, for a short time uh, to work, but in this moment it's impossible to uh, back to Cuba. Okay, but well, you're still working, right? Uh huh. Okay, tell us about your process with oil and water. Well, uh, for year I began to work for many years ago with watch. I am a passionate. I love the texture in my work, but uh, the process of the texture in uh, in in other in other media. Uh, they many time, maybe one, maybe uh, maybe one more to do. And for year, I I was experimenting with uh, another way to to create and to do uh, introduce the mystery in my work. Okay. Uh, I I find finally. Uh, one uh, one way to to create to do um, and solve the texture in my world. Uh, this is uh, the combination with the oil and water, which is not supposed to mix um, scientifically, uh, but you found a way to make it work in your work. We're going to look at that very soon when you show us around in your studio. What I want uh -huh. to know is, um, you know, I know you get asked this question all the time. Um, uh -huh. Are you related to Pablo Picasso? And tell us well, uh, about the lineage. Well, the relation and, about and Pablo Picasso, Quintetenos Acerero de esta lineage. <laughs> Well, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, the Pablo Picasso relation is simple. In other moments, some people ask me about it, and he refused that idea. I have to set the, the problem. Uh, it's one, uh, it's, uh, you want not to recognize uh, history. Because during century, uh, Europe, Europe, Europe uh, go to Africa, to Africa for slav. Never Africa in go to Europe <laughs> to make slav people. It's impossible. Right. Uh, well, uh, the names. Of many uh, Afro people is due to this uh, Slavic period, like mine. Pablo Picasso grandfather traveled to Cuba ending 1860. And he uh, went to work in the office, of, in the government office. But uh, one element important, he uh, knew a black woman in the Iceland, and he married with her. With her. I am one of the members of this family created by Pablo Picasso family. He left Spain, he left Spain, and created a new family in Cuba. So that is the, the Afro-Cuban woman, would that be your great-great-grandmother? Yes. Uh, Grand grandmother. Okay. Yes. And do you think Picasso knew about you guys in Cuba? Yes, he knew. Uh, that was uh, reference uh, in nineteen ninety seven. Uh, Malaga Foundation of Pablo Picasso made an investigation in Cuba about parents. 
they knew uh, about party in Cuba because uh, with Fredo Lang. With Fredo Lang, the Cuban painter. Uh, he was living in France and knew, about, knew Pablo Picasso in this moment. Pablo Picasso was a mentor for him. And uh, with Fredo Lang told him about his family in Cuba was the moment that Pablo Picasso knew uh, that he uh, was family in Cuba. I don't know uh, if Pablo Picasso traveled to Cuba in some moment, uh, but uh, a studio of the uh, Foundation in Malaga, of Pablo Picasso Foundation in Malaga, uh, note that uh, the, the, the green interest Pablo Picasso for new his family. Okay, so oh, no, his family. Sorry. How many other people in your family besides mm -hmm. you are artists? Are you the only uh, artist in your family? There is a uh, maybe twenty uh, member of family of Pablo Picasso in Cuba in this moment. And how many are with artists? The, with, with the last name, yes. And how many of the 20 are artists? How many in? Are you the only artist in your family? No, uh, no, there is maybe, there is maybe 20, 20 members more. And they all are artists? I'll type uh, how, many, how many artists other than? How many artists, how many artists? other than you are in your family in, in Cuba. Okay, I put it in the chat so you can look at it. No, I think, <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, that I, by my knowledge, uh, there is only one artist. You? Uh, I, I guess. Amazing. Maybe tomorrow, uh, and I hope that my daughter, <laughs> yeah, you, you're teaching your, your baby, your daughter, right? Yes, yeah, she, lost, she lost so many pain. That's good. That's how it starts. That's really good. Um, I want to know, uh, can you now start showing us around your studio and showing okay. me some of your work? Okay, uh, what okay. What are you working on? Very many. Show me, show us your studio and your work. Well, uh, okay. Okay, in this moment we are showing my small studio. We're gonna show where some of my work are. Okay. I'm working in this. I'm finished this big tour. Okay. And tell us about that particular work. Uh, about my particular work. Yes. Yeah, tell uh, us about the process of oil about the process. in that artwork. Okay. Well, uh, I begin when, with uh, one idea that I want to reflect in my world art. For example, this is about the passion, the love of the car crow. Uh, and beginning with the idea, I create a song, uh, drawing, and then continue with the pain. Uh, for example, in this I apply a, a mixed media acrylic and uh, oil to create this work art. And that's how you uh, achieve that incredible texture, I see. Uh-huh. Uh, in, in this first pattern, I apply in a few space, the technique, different techniques. This is the water and oil. Okay. I apply different techniques to create texture. 
And I see that dove. Tell us about the dove. What does the dove represent? The dove, the dove represents the love that I have for my daughter. My daughter, the name in Spanish is Paloma, and in English is dove. Oh, that's beautiful. What a beautiful tribute. It is reflected in this world. Now you were talking and the, the use of iconography right. of the Afro religion always will be present in my world. There oh. is some details, for the example, world. this will is represent in my world too, always. As my person, continue working, continue uh, the way, never stop. And that's what the will represents. Uh -huh. I apply here uh, the tennis uh, of the Warren and only two. Okay. That's the texture that you achieve with mixing water and oil, which they tell you you cannot do, but you've done it. Show us some more work, please, in your studio. Okay. That's beautiful. And some moment I I used to to work in, in other different aspects in another topic, for example, uh, here I work uh, with the sea scan. It is so shiny. Right. That's be really beautiful. Thank you so much. Here, for example, it's about a video of woman uh, on the stereo nude, nude. Okay. And that's oil and water technique that achieves all yes, that. Yes, 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 it's present here too. It's amazing. That's another figure, I can see it. That's gorgeous. And what does all of that, what does the texture represent to you? I see the iconography in it. And the wheel. The wheel is it's another word of the news of the news theory. That's beautiful, Juan. Thank you, dear. I mean, it's almost with all of this texture, it's like you've just kind of like gotten beneath the flesh. That's incredible. That How long have you been using this process of oil and water? How? How long have How you long been the, using uh, uh, this? With this time, uh, the process of what is faster? Maybe one week, maybe eight, ten days. It's very faster because I have an idea, I have to travel. Uh, only need a uh, way to to dry the oil to continue. This is a clean uh, about the, the landscape, and uh, you may see in this another from the new series. Something. It's gorgeous. Let me show you another.
Oh, that's nice, Juan. The perspective in that is intense and I really like this black and white and grayscale palette with with all of that texture. It really shows up very strongly. Let us see the work on the wall. Oh, look at her. This is uh, about the, uh, I think I hear the things about the size that many women suffer so much. Uh, in this case, it's about the breast, the breast cancer. Breast cancer. The woman, breast cancer. The woman reflects uh, the agony uh, he, uh, he saw as the light of one, like a smoke. So, you but now, the woman smoked. Oh, she smoked. Uh -huh. You use the skeleton bones in a lot of your paintings. The painting that I have of yours has the skeleton in there. Can you tell me why do you do that? The bone is uh, an element. And the bone becomes uh, an artist. Uh, Afro artist uh, about the, the Afro figurative. Okay. And I reflect about the ideology uh, to, to my work. It is uh, an iconography of the uh, Afro program. That's something else. Oh, look at that. It's an of the music. This I the Oh, my goodness. This thing gives me so many I love this. I know you must have been very excited once you figured out how to do this and what the results are, because it's just something, look at that. Tell me about this painting with all of those heads. What is this, what is this about? This is about a situation that I have an interesting conversation in the street. Uh, I, I want to reflect this uh, person in my work, especially uh, in the time of the conversation, uh, the interaction between the person. This uh, media means actually annoying. What a anointed in his face. I think it's in the world I don't know that I just for it is. And this is from the ministry. I want to own the symmetry of the, the figure. Oh my goodness, look at the eye. Amazing. Mm -hmm. That's an idea. The wheel taking a rest. 
the real taking a rest. That's really cool. <laughs> This is about the, the forest. The forest. Yeah. I want to do this. So many calls in this moment uh, using the the reaping. Uh, that is not all, uh, all the land. What, do the, what do those circular shapes represent? The bubbles. What does that represent? Gorgeous. You even put legs on the wheel. That wheel has a whole body on that one. Very, very beautiful wine. Can you? Tell us a little bit about where you have exhibited your work. Where were we? Uh, where I have don't you exhibited your what? work, Juan? What? Where have you exhibited your work? I'm putting it in the. Um, yes, uh, in this moment, I'm going to see my work. My last essay was uh, United States. Mm. In New Jersey. Uh, and yes, yes. Now I'm not still uh, waiting a, a moment, waiting an uh, invitation for this. Only I'm working. Uh, as you know, here in Brazil, I, I am only one and a half. Uh, yeah, and the last, sorry, in the last moment in Cuba, there it was very difficult uh, to make sure I was receiving uh, in this in the very, in the very gallery that I prepared for this one is only for French people. Uh, young in here, uh, I am not stopping here. I have to know many about the fall, about the culture in this place. Uh, I am focused to, to show my world in the United States, to the first person, the first one that I invite. Uh, I carry my world for the first day. And you, um... You were in New Jersey exhibiting, you were connected to Ben Jones, right? Ben Jones, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, ben Jones, Ben Jones, Ben Jones, Ben Jones is, <laughs> is, is uh, mentioned the name of Ben Jones from me and from many friends, from many Cuba. He's a, a great person, like a brother, like a family. Uh, he was, uh, since the first moment that I show in Cuba, Ben John was in my, in my solo show. Uh, from this moment, our friendship began. Uh, I was in his, in his studio, I was in her home, her house. Uh, I just lived in her house too. Uh, ben John uh, knew my, my daughter, Cindy. So she was a baby. Home. I mean, the time I saw pictures, she was a little girl. Now she's in the sixth grade, right? <laughs> well, <laughs> he, he I met so you funny. through Ben Jones. So ben, ben has been very instrumental in connecting people, connecting artists from Yes. Uh, he was a uh, busy Cuba from maybe, 25 years. Right. He know many people in Cuba. He that's know why, many artists. That's why he connects. With them. <laughs> He's the connection between two worlds. 
Exactly, exactly, exactly. Well, we have um, a few more minutes. Is there anything else that you want to tell us about your work that I have not asked you? Uh -huh. Anything you want to tell us more? Uh, to talk for another people, uh, only uh, that I appreciate the, the moment, the opportunity that, that gives me to uh, introduce me in the business studio, uh, introduce my work in the business studio. Uh, glad to to take you in my life for <laughs> uh, for the opportunity and for your friendship too. Oh. Uh, thankful to Isabel uh, for this uh, moment. We're just so and here, uh, here you got a, a Cuba, a black Afro Cuban that we continue to work for our fo for our fall for our roots for uh, our days right. always right i want to thank you we're honored that you accepted our invitation and we can't wait to share this with people in this right. area um if people wanted to obtain your work to purchase how could they do that well i really know don't know <laughs> uh, <laughs> I uh, I only I only want to say I work uh, because I enjoy my work. Okay. Uh, my work is part of my life, like my daughter. Okay. Uh, not all, not all the all the work that I do uh, is for my, is for me. Okay. Is for the people. Okay. I always be glad that many people like my world and i hope this continue 